Hi Toy Grubbers, welcome back. I know it's been a while since I uploaded my last video. I'm sorry about that. I'm a bit busy about my real life. So today I'm going to give you a photography trick on how I made a shot like this, this, and this with a pretty simple setup like this. As you can see, I only use a normal desk lamp and a background paper. So it's pretty simple setup for me. Without making you wait any longer, Let's play that intro. Hey guys, before we jump into the tutorial, I would like to share the gear that I use to take the shot. This is my Canon 60D with Canon 60mm lens. It's my usual stuff. Here are the normal desk lamp. I use two of these things. The bulb cover by tracing paper in order to diffuse the light because the light is quite bright when I try to shot the figure. This guy right here is our model for today, which is the Marvel Legends Star Lord from the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oops, the blaster just popped off. And this is my background PVC white paper. If you don't have this, it's okay, you could also use white t-shirt or any paper that got white color. Now for the setup, first of all set the white background paper and turn on these lamps. Next I place the figure slightly forward so these lights don't face the figure directly but it will direct it to the background. The white background will bounce the light and it will give a cool backlight. And I also shot it with tripod so it's optional if you want to use it or not since we don't do long shutter for today. Now I'm trying to pose this the best way that I could. Well, I'm not really good at posing. And I think that's all for the setup. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Let's take a closer look. Now we'll try to take a shot. This is the settings that I use. ISO 500, f7.1 and shutter speed at 100. After you set all of this, press the shutter button. And here are the result. It's okay if it's not look good yet because we're gonna edit it anyway. So it might look a little bit darker or underexposed, but we can fix it. In the editing process. Open your Adobe Lightroom, then import your picture as usual. After you import your picture, first you need to reduce the highlights and punch the shadow around plus 53, increase the whites to plus 27 and blacks to plus 15. Drag the exposure to the right around plus 0.30 and decrease the contrast. Next I add a bit clarity and vibrance. And I will reduce the saturation a bit. Now you need to head to tone curve. If you didn't see this curve, just click the small box right here, then you can adjust this curve. Click to make a point on this spot and drag it up to increase the likes. And drag this spot downwards to add shadows. And drag up the bottom left curve to add fade effects. Drag down the top right point to decrease the highlights a bit. For the hue saturation luminance, it will depends on your taste. You can follow me on these settings or you could adjust it yourself. First, I head to saturation, drag the red to the right around plus 12, reduce the blue to minus 67. Reduce the aqua color to minus 27. Slide right the orange and yellow a little bit. And for the luminance, slide the red to plus 15. Orange to the plus 7. And yellow to 11. So luminance will give your color a highlight or maybe make your color glows more. And the last one for the hue, I slide the red color to minus 39. 
and slide the orange a bit. I'm trying to reduce the sharpening mount and increase the luminance on noise reduction since it's underexposed. Slide the vignette mount a little to the right, so it will give you a little bit bright on the edge of the picture. Next, I'm gonna slide the red hue to the left to make it more maroon. It's just my taste of color and increase my desaturation to plus 8. Click this vertical rectangle icon to make a gradient filter. Click and drag your mouse from the right side since it got dark areas, so adjust the length of the filter then increase the exposure to the right you could do the same for the left side to make the white backgrounds glow Click the circle icon to make radial filter and place it on the face. Add clarity to plus 12, I think plus 12 is enough. Don't forget to take the invert mask. After that, click the brush tool. Brush it around the eyes. I will change the color to red with saturation around 80%. Increase the exposure and the highlights here. Do it the same for the other eye. Duplicate the brush tool and place it to the left eye. Now we will make a radial brow again and change the color to red with saturation around 60%. Also increase exposure around 0.30. Place it on the eye to give some glowing effect. If it not bright enough to you, you could increase the exposure and reduce the shadows a bit. Now have a look at this before and after comparison. Looks very different, right? Okay, maybe that's all for today guys. Make sure you subscribe to get updates about new tutorials. You could give your opinion on what should I do next in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and bye!